Okay, this is my third time restarting this live because it was getting frozen, so good. This looks like it's working. I am Diana, independent designer with Chalk Couture. If you are watching this, you are on our replay. So, comment replay so I know that you're here. I'm just setting this camera into position. Go ahead and start um, about two minutes in because I've got to go share this over to a couple of other groups and I just wait for a few people to hop on. So, just fast forward it a couple of minutes and you'll see the progress. All right, I am back. So the first thing we're gonna do is kind of weird because this is a Christmas, you know, craft nap time. My daughter's napping, so this is my time to hop on. But I have here a transfer that says October 31st. So I'm gonna show you how you can mix and, max, mix and match transfers to create something completely new. So what you see is not always what you get. It's all just limited to what your imagination is. So this is a brand new transfer, October 31st. Um, instructions come on the back of every transfer and then this is the other transfer I'm going to use is mini holiday icon set and I'll have a bundle sell for both of these hey Rose um, within my group I have three sets of these together and it, they will be um, at a special price but you'll have to be either messaging me for that price for both of those together or um, pop into my VIP group if you need the link just type VIP and I will get you in there so let me show you how this works. So this trans, all of our transfers are reusable. This one in particular, you can see some of the staining on it. I've used multiple colors on it. I've used it uh, over a dozen times. And the quota time from the company is you get eight to 12 uses out of one transfer. Now, oftentimes you can get more than that. It just depends on how well you take care of it. And, um, you know, just, it just can be well used. So anyway, I only bring that up because um, because I know how it kind of reacted with me last time I used it. I'm wondering if I'm even gonna get a good result this time. But I'm using a chalkboard, so if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter, I can just erase the paste off and do it again. So Chalkology Paste is what I'm using. This is a product made by Chalk Couture. They have their own product line for colors. Chalkology paste is what you would want to use ideally on chalkboards, wood, canvas, glass. It is water soluble so when you're done with the design you can just wash it off and put something else on with the exception of wood because the wood, most wooden surfaces are porous and so once you put the Chalkology paste on it it's gonna stay. Um, but chalkboard it washes off really nicely. The other color line is ink. So it's the Couture ink and there's um, over 20 colors in that as well. You can use it for screen printing with shirts, hats. Um, some people have even done their shoes on the like fabric opening on like Converse's. And then you also have the um, sorry the option to do like ceramics and then you can heat set it in your oven and then it's good to be hand washed as well after you do that and it won't run off. So I'm going to use this uh, multi-tool to get these smaller portions. I want to get this um, ring in white, but I'm not going to chalk October 31st. 
Now, because that silk screen opening, it's not a stencil. There is a little screen in there. Because it is so thin, I know the chalk is already starting to dry. So you do want to work at a fairly quick pace when you're using um, any of our paste in a, in a small opening as well. Or because I already scraped off the excess, I made a really fine layer of white on that top line, that middle line, and then this one right above where I'm working right now. And so that paste is already beginning to dry. And it will dry on the screen if you don't get it peeled up. And ideally what you're doing is getting it right through the screen onto the surface below. That's why it's called a transfer. You're transferring the color from one spot down to the other, right? So I'm literally just taking my red paste and covering up that entire silk screen opening. Now, I'm a little bit nervous about this, like I said, because this transfer has been used so often. But, oops, I got a little bit of white, or red into my white. Um, so what I'm nervous about is that it won't be adhered to the back as well. So this transfer has a sticky back and it adheres to the surface beneath it, but when it's ready to be done, ready to be tossed, the stick won't be as um, defined and so it will look more, it, it will have a more chance to bleed and not be a crisp rectangle like we hoped for. Now you don't want it to dry on the um, transfer like we were talking about, so as soon as you're done applying the paste, you can just peel it up. Nice, that's what we wanted. That circle looks really, really good. So right there on that middle white, you can tell I had a little bit of an air bubble on my screen, so it created, ah, it created a kind of weird texture to it, but it's fine. That actually looks really good. Now the only regret I have, oh my gosh, that looks really, really good. I guess I do have a couple more uses from that transfer. The only re regret I have is when I did the um, scraping off the excess from this bottom line and some of the other ones, I went down. I went to, 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 to scrape off the excess so I can kind of see my squeegee lines. And I wish I would have gone this direction because it would have created this nice smooth line. Oh well. So what I'm gonna do after this dries, that looks really good actually. Thanks for sharing. Oh yeah, I got a lot of people on. I didn't even look at my phone here. Hey Gina, thanks for sharing. Thanks Rose. Yeah, you'll be entered into our share giveaway. I'll be giving away a finished product. I'm running to the post office today too. So this is a good opportunity. Okay, so what am I saying? Um, oh, when after I wash my transfer, I'll just lay it and let it dry. I'll just lay it right back on top and I'll touch up that and that um, air bubble spot. I'll just go right back over it with the paste in the same method that I just demonstrated. So I'm going for a candy cane look here. So I'm gonna combine my mini holiday icon. I'm gonna use this. These have been really well used. This is not pleasant to look at. So I'll show you this one. I'm gonna combine one of my things in here. I think I'm gonna do the candy canes and I'm gonna pop it into the middle. And I just think it'd be just super classy, super cute. Now let me show you how you wash a transfer. Because I don't like to let my transfer sit in water for too long because I think it breaks down the adhesive faster. So all you got to do is put it in water. So when I'm not in a live, I just run to my sink and wash it underneath and let it dry on my countertop. But I'll let you guys see this here. I, um, woo, I can massage it out with my fingers or I just prefer the toothbrush. Bought an old tooth or bought it bought a new toothbrush just to use for this and I'm literally just massaging off any of the excess chalk that is on the transfer the other thing that you got to have is disinfectant wipes so Clorox or Lysol wipe that is what's recommended it does say that on the back of the transfer sheet to when you're done washing it off with water a way to keep the adhesive nice and strong is to use a Lysol wipe. Um, so I'm gonna put it face up just while I wipe down. I'm gonna show you this as well. Move that out of the way. So I still got some extra chalk on here. Should open that up. So some colors stain the transfer, but it doesn't affect the silk screen opening or it won't even affect it when you're using it for a future use. 
Um, so the reds and the oranges, those are the kind, like the colors that tend to just kind of stain the transfer. If it really bothers you, use one of our board erasers. They're kind of like a magic eraser feel, and you can usually get that off. I don't really care, so I just use my board erasers to erase my boards um, when I'm done. So anyway, after you're done, wipe off the back and make sure there's no little lint or um, hair stuck on the adhesive part because as soon as it dries it'll be nice and sticky again Ooh, and ready for reuse and I just put this back onto the sheet that it came on glossy side bloop, after it dries so I'll let that dry off screen and we'll move to the next project while I'm letting that candy cane design dry and then I'll show you how to add the next layer on let's move to some ornaments so I made these painted these myself a while back these are just wooden ornaments that I got from Amazon I think some people are so talented they go and cut down their own trees and make them themselves. Hey Vicki, totally cool. I'm happy you're here. Um, let me show you. I used um, just a, what's it called? Acrylic paint. Just used an acrylic paint. And I'm going to try some of our holiday icons on here. I really want to avoid opening up my brand new set because I want to be able to let someone else snag that for now. But I might open up a brand new set. So I used um, acrylic paint and I put a little bit of wax on it. And the wax is paste finishing wax. It's um, found at Lowe's. We also have some in a little chapstick container sold on my website, chopcouture.com slash Diana Anderson is that site. And you literally just need a little bit on there. It protects the screen, the transfer, because sometimes when you're working with wood, you get little wood chips that can come up with the stickiness of the transfer. And you don't necessarily want that to ruin your transfer, right? Take good care of it. Now, this is another transfer that has been used over a dozen times, but I'm so frugal that I'm like, I'm literally gonna keep going with it until I do not get any stick, until I don't get any kind of um, imperfect design from it. And so I'm just gonna keep using it. This is sticking just fine to that surface. And I am dripping paste all over the place. Get closer to my work. Okay, here we go. I put the paste on there. Give me some hearts if you want to see it. All right, here we go for a ho, ho, ho. Looks good. Cute. Yeah, Rose, I still have um, three. I have three of the ornament kits available. And this is the exact ornaments that you'd be getting in the kit. They come in, like, a lot of them are a little bit different sizes and stuff, but you can paint them. I have some ribbon that I'm going to tie onto it to make. I mean, it comes with twine, but you can totally get creative with it and do something else, right? Let's try a tree on this one. So this one, I clearly got some red on it or something, so we're going to do something with red. Um, Christmas tree. I think I'm going to offset it a little bit because the star kind of hits the hole. So that one's going to be our Christmas tree. Let's try a dove. Um, two of these are gone now. I've used I, you, I did have to throw one away because I noticed that the stick was completely gone and then the other one, um, I just lost it at a party, I think. Yeah. It never made it home with me. So we'll do a dove. Okay, Rose, you can definitely get one. I'll send you a message and we'll secure that and I'll send it today because I'm running to the post office when my daughter wakes up. So send me your um, address if I haven't gotten that already. Let's try a present. The mini holiday icons also comes in the starter kit if you join as a designer currently. I think it will change after December, obviously. They'll get rid of the holiday icons and switch to something else. Um, if you need more info on that or want more info on that, then just comment starter kit and I'll get you that info. 
Okay, let's see what's next. Hi, Caitlin. Um, I'm gonna do some colors. So we're gonna do green. Yeah, I have so many different shades of green. So this is emerald green. Ooh, that's really thick. So, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so when you have a paste that's starting to dry out, all you need is water. Distilled water is recommended. I just use water. But you just need distilled water to get it reconstituted. Now, I have a ton of dry paste on the side of this, but I'll scrape it down later when I'm not on a live and reconstitute it all. You can seriously get so far with just a little bit of paste. Okay, let's do our Christmas tree. Emerald green. And then I have to pop in a little bit of yellow to do that star. Ooh, I got a lot on there. So I can use my, I take a small squeegee and I cut it down so it's even smaller. I really like our squeegees for the angle on it. The multi-tool is great, but when I'm working with like really small surfaces, I do go back to my squeegee because I really like the angle on it. It makes it easy to scrape up that excess. got that and now I'm gonna grab oh my gosh what am I doing can find the lid okay don't want that I want yellow got a little bit of green on my present scrape that off also try not to let the sticky side of the transfer stick to the sticky side but if it does, you just use a little bit of water, like run under water, and um, take it off. So, ooh, that's really dry too, but I only need a little bit, so it's going to be fine. So I'm literally just putting a little bit of that yellow on there, ooh, mixed with green. All right, let's check out our Christmas tree. What's in the ornament pack, Amanda asks. I'll show you a picture. Give me a second. Oh my gosh, that looks really good. Okay, so the mini holiday icons come in the ornament pack. It has all of these. The presents get layered together to create a design and the candy canes if you want to do one red, one white, and if they overlap. And then the ornament pack also comes with 12 wooden ornaments as so. Um, it has twine that goes with it as well as I send it with a half squeegee and a red, green, and a white sample paste packet. So it doesn't come with the full paste like a jar, but you get the value with the paste packet. Um, but if you have like a little jar you wanna store it in, if you don't, I, anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you get it with the paste packet, you wanna make sure you do this all in one sitting because these, the jars, you can resell. But when the paste packets, unless you have like a little jar that you can put your extra paste in, you are gonna want to sit down and do it all at one time. Um, my son's. I have to respond to him. Michael Net or James Netflix is signed out, so you can't do Netflix right now, but you can do the game that you were playing. Okay. No, I just did something wrong. You did something wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll have to check it out. As of now, go back to your kissy game. Weird. Or you have to die or okay, here we go for our dove. Actually, sorry, frugality gets to me. I just am like, why waste that paste that's on there when I could just scrape it off and use it again on a future design? There's just so much, you know, they think you can get so far out of the just a little bit of paste. Nice. So I can tell, woo, I can, oh. and then there was a kizzy. all right, James, I'm talking on my video. I told you we need to have my video time. Okay. You can tell me after. So on this one, I can tell that my icon is starting to get old. Like I said, I've used it over a dozen times because like the eyeball on the dove isn't defined when normally it's like really sticky there. So no paste gets in between, but I mean, it looks still fine. Um, but I just know that there's supposed to be a little eyeball. Um, how much are they, Amanda? I will message you the price because I'm not allowed to offer um, anything at a discounted price publicly. I have to either do it within a private message or in my VIP group. So 
Anything that's discounted, I can't say right here. And because I'm on my public page, I won't say that. Um, but yeah, I'll send you a message about the ornament kit and how much it costs. Let's see. So now I'm just washing these off again, putting them on my drying mat, and I'll wipe them down with a Lysol wipe. I just figure I might as well show you on screen. A lot of times I just do that off screen, but anyway. Okay, so now let's do a couple more. I'll try the present and show you guys how to layer the present. And maybe the candy cane. I'm gonna be giving some ornaments away as part of the share giveaway as well. So if you want that, just make sure you share. And obviously privacy settings, I don't make you change that, but sometimes it will show many people have shared, but only four people commented shared. And if your privacy settings are set that I can't see that you shared, then I can't put you into the drawing. So make sure once you share this live to comment shared okay let's try the present where did that go okay present let's do the bottom of the present in white and then I'll do the top in like a blue to match these other blue painted ornaments Simple. So put it on wet, just take it right off. That's all you gotta do. You don't need to wait for anything. I think I'll do another present on the blue. And then I'll make the top layer of this blue present red. So they'll be in contrast to each other. I can tell when I peel up my my um, present that it's not very sticky either. It's I don't even know how many times this one's been used. Not as much as that dove, but you can really go far with these, but you can just tell like it just comes up really easily. Woo! That's nice. I kind of want to do one more. Let's try another one on my silver. No, I want silver to be the silver bills. So we'll do white present. Oh no, that doesn't work. White on white. I don't like that. What was I thinking about that? Okay, we'll go back to silver. So all of these um, ornaments too are just different sizes. So make sure when you get the ornament set that you're kind of prejudging which ones to put on which, which icon to put on which circle because some of them are smaller and so like the joy or the ho 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 will fit really well in the smaller ones whereas the Christmas tree and the present you wanna make sure you have one of the larger wood circles. I. I was kind of disappointed at how many of them came in small, so I have been really selective when I'm putting the packages together to try to get the biggest ones put in the packages, so you guys can have those. Okay, last one. I just did three in a row. Nice. All right, I'm going to let that one soak and wash. I did paint the background with acrylic. Yeah, I just used acrylic paint, what I had in my craft drawer. And then, Lisa, I have ribbons, which I'll bring to your house, too, if you want. Um, you, if you don't want to go buy your own spool, you can just use what I have. Those are the designs that I have. I'm going to try to, like, tie them off, get some greenery, and go from there. Okay, so we're going to let those dry. You want to make sure that the bottom layer dries before you put the next layer on. that off let it dry all right I'm gonna do um, bells and a snowflake I feel like snowflake needs to be on the blue or the white we'll try joy let's see joy can fit really well on the smaller one so I'll do this ooh Okay, so clearly last time I washed that, it was really sticky. So that top star has some paper towel in it, which means that mesh is not going to show any star. So I'll have to wash that out. Oh, well. Hey, James Thor, turn that down, please. 
My son's name is James Thor. And I call him James Thor when I'm like, you're being naughty. Like I have to like get that middle name in. Call him Thor when he's being a four-year-old self. All right, let's try Joy. I don't know, this red on green might be really uh, contrasty. Let's try some of my ink. So the Couture ink has three lines that are shimmery and they're ideal when you're working with fabric, but you can also use them when you're doing things like, um, well, you can use it on any surface you want. You just won't be able to heat set it. So I'm gonna use the shimmery. Another option is if you're putting on wet paste, or you know, obviously it's always wet when you put it on, but right when you peel it off is you can just put some glitter on it and that will create its own glitter shimmery effect without having to buy the ink. Okay, let's check that out. I'm excited. Oh man, that looks really good. That looks really good. I might need to do another thing with just that. I really, I really like the contrast in these two with the sh shimmery silver acrylic paint I have with the Joy. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it again. I'm not even gonna wash it off. Let's do it again with the blue one because this one's also kind of a small wooden chip. So there's gold shimmer, like a copper shimmer, and then a the silver. Eek, this is so cute. Okay, what's today? Today is Monday the 26th. So this share giveaway will be available today and through tomorrow, the 27th of November. So if you are watching this even on a replay, make sure you comment shared after you share and you'll still be eligible to win one of these ornaments as a giveaway. Cute. I like it. James Thor, turn that music off. And if you don't, then you can just stop playing computer because that is really annoying. Thank you. Nope. If I have to ask you again, you're gonna turn it off and be done. Do you like hearing my parenting in the background? There we go. So now that I got that paper towel wet that was stuck onto the um, star of the joy, it came I right off. Is it down to one? Yeah. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. All right, that looks really cute. Okay, what? let's see. Hey, Margaret, nice of you to stop in. We are doing ornaments and we've got some Christmas presents to finish layering. Okay, everyone tell me which one's your favorite out of these so far. No. The joy in, s in the silver. Or the Christmas tree, the dove, or the ho ho ho. Which one do you like so far the best? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, I'm using the candy cane on the other board I just made, but I'm gonna try it here too. So that one is a really skinny wood piece, so let's try this one. Nice. So because the background's already white, I'm not going to need to layer this candy cane. I can just do this one in red and then the, the white will already be obvious. I'll show you what I mean. So just get a little bit of Chalkology paste and spread it on and take off the excess. I always repeat because I never know when people hop on, like, are, do they know what I'm doing? Do they, are they familiar with this product or not? So if you're new and you've never seen this before and you need me to explain what I'm using, type new. And I will watch for that to come through. All right, so now I use my squeegee to get that excess off. Because you can be a frugal person with this product. It can seem a little pricey at first because you're like, oh my gosh, I just spent $12.99 on a three ounce jar of paste, right? But after you use it once and you go, oh, okay, I see that that jar of paste is gonna last me for a year, so. It's not that bad after all. Nice. I could make it like a red and green candy cane. I might make it look more defined because the other one layers on the other opening. I don't have to think about that. 
Joy on the Red is Latanya's favorite. I think you're up there with mine. I really like this tree as well. Okay, so get this. Someone made cookies. They used their stencils. They made like sugar cookies, frosted them with white, and then they put the stencils, like the kind of like, oh, what kind of frosting is it? Um, it's not fondant, but it's like the harder powdered sugar milk mixture that like dries hard. And then they put the icons on top of that and then leaked the wet frosting through the silk screen onto the dried frosting beneath and it was so cool. It was just so, so cool. Um, that was with our adventure set that they did that, the mini adventure set icon. So I wanna try it with our sugar cookies with the Christmas icon set. Obviously, if you are if you use paste on it, then you don't wanna make it cookies with it, but you could use a brand new set with that. Totally, totally easy. Royal icing, thank you, Lori. That's right, royal icing. Okay, last one. I don't know, that's not gonna fit. This is a really skinny one. I don't like the way that it comes off the painted area that I made. So I'm gonna put that back. I'll have to think about what to do. Maybe I'll do another Christmas tree on that because it's a skinnier one. Okay, let's go back into layering our presents. So you can know it's dry just by touching it. Woo! Okay, excellent. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of wax anyway, just because now that I have it, I just use it. So paste finishing wax. Min wax is the brand of choice for me, but you literally just need um, a tiny bit. So if you don't plan to use, wood a lot, then just go with the chapstick brand. Not chapstick brand, but the wax that we sell in a little chapstick type tube on my website. And you literally are just, um, I use it when I am layering. Just put a tiny bit on. So the reason why I use it while layering is because I don't want that paste that's underneath to peel up when I put the new sticky transfer on top of it to put the next layer on. If you let it dry, it shouldn't do that. Um, and this is dry, but just because I'm rushing kind of into it, I'm just gonna do wax. It just kind of helps create that barrier of protection. Like I can tell that one's actually a little bit wet. Like I should have just checked that before I just went right into waxing it, but. It dries fast. I wasn't too concerned. Okay, so that's it for that. That's it. Hi, Vet. Okay, I'm gonna take. Um, well, maybe I'll leave this silver. I was gonna do green. No, I was gonna do red on this one and blue on that one to kind of create its own contrast with each other. So. Let's do it. Let's see how that looks. Hold on a second. I gotta go get the blue to match it. There is nothing like a brand new jar of paste. This is peacock blue show you how this looks. They all come sealed. There's no pull tab on it, so I just use scissors or a knife. And just trim around the edge there and peel it off and put it in the garbage, and then you're good to just go. If you ever, ever, ever have any problems when you order something, and like, if for some reason the seal breaks and it spills, or if you get a chalkboard and there's like a chip in it and you were, you know, concerned about it, just send me a picture of it and I will take care of it and submit tickets to corporate for you guys, okay? Oh yeah, that matches the acrylic paint really well. So this is Peacock Blue. Okay, so we're gonna do the top layer of the present. So 
what are you guys all doing today? Like, I'm just at home during the daytime with my kids. Um, but are you all watching from work? Are you at home? What is your... What's your Mondays like? Oh, no. Ah. Okay, so another thing about the present is that the lining of it kind of goes down. It's not completely straight. So you want to make sure when you're putting it, like when you're originally putting it on, line it up to your dot the way that it's supposed to be that matches the icon that goes with it. Because now, like the actual way for this present, ugh, darn it. Maybe it's not always like that. Maybe I just stretch, stretch my transfer so that's the way it goes. Yeah, see that's the way it lines up where the bow is on top. This way. Hmm. Let's see if I can get away with it this way. Probably not, because that angle just won't work. It just won't work. Oh well, I get a sideways present ornament thing. <laughs> I think I've always just left out when I've done it before, because I don't remember really putting a lot of conscious effort into it. I just did it. But note to self, for those of you who just got the ornament set, just, you know, make sure that when you're pulling out that bottom layer that it matches the angle with the top layer. Okay, so I'm, I just opened this paste, but I'm literally just like scraping it off and using the excess that got scraped and putting it on here. Yvette says kids are sick, took off from work, cooking, etc. a long day. And then Amanda says she had a snow day. Um, where do you live, Amanda? I'm in Seattle area and snow is a very rare thing, at least where I live. I live right beneath a small mountain, so a lot of times they'll get snow and I don't. And I don't mind one bit. I do not mind one bit. I do not like snow. So last year we had it on Christmas Day and that was it. And that was perfect, just to be on Christmas Day. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. What? I'm just gonna have to like drill a new hole and put it through. What? Also, I don't have a drill. I say that like I'm so experienced with woodworking, but I'm not. Illinois, fun. Um, can I use my own? Anna says, can I use my own template, I'm guessing? The thing is, I can't read my entire comment section because the way that my phone holder is placed it kind of blocks some of it. And so, anyway, I will readdress your question. Um, where did you get the cute... Oh my gosh, Stephanie, how come I can't read your whole thing? I'll look in a second when my hands are all wet. So once again, this is angled the wrong way for me, so I'll do a sideways present. I know, you're like, drilling a hole is easy. Um, I can't put it upside down, Latani, because even still, the way that the angle is, it like, I'll show you on the next one. It just goes a little bit opposite. Um, because it's not, it's like an up-down slant. It's like a, I don't know, I'll just show you. I'll just show it to you. It's like when I rotate it every 30 degrees, I go, or every 90 degrees, it's, it's, um, it's just off. And like I said, I don't know if that's because my transfer's gotten stretched. Because when you peel it diagonally off things, you're more likely to stretch it. But, uh, oh my gosh, that's adorable. Even if I don't worry about the hole and I just do something else on the back, like create a magnet, it can totally work. Okay, so because I want to use a different color on this blue one, I'm just going to wash that off. Drilling a hole is easy, yes. I know it's easy. The thing is, I don't have the tools, but I have friends with tools, so I can just go over there and do what I need to do. But, um, yeah, I just, I like that I'm learning more and more about how to use different materials. Like fabrics. I was like, oh, no, that's not my thing. That's not my world. But now with the Couture ink, I'm able to make pillowcases and T-shirts. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is so cool. I never thought that this was my world or my talent. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry onto the side. So while that 
top layer is drying. I'm going to seal up this paste. Look at how full that is. Lusciously full. Woo! I kind of feel like that one was overfilled in a way because none of my pastes have ever come that full, I don't think. And I think I'm done with the blue. Um, I'm not. What? We'll just do one more. I'm going to do ho 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 on this one because then I can have... No, I'm not. I'm going to do the green because then I have enough green. Although I'm giving these away. I'm like trying to make them equal. <laughs> trying to make them equal so, you know, when I hang them up, they're all equal. But they'll probably be part of a giveaway, so I don't need to worry about that. I'll send matching ones to whoever wins. Thanks, Paula. Paula was my inspiration for this because Paula literally went and cut down her own tree and made her own wooden chip ornaments. Oh, and then I baked it in my oven to kill all the bugs. And I'm like, what? How do you even know to bake wood in your own oven? And then she painted them all cute. And then she added, like, all of these embellishments to it. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. It was so cute. So then I said, I'm going to try that. And here I am trying it right now. Okay, where's my yellow? I think I already put it away. Grab that again. My yellow is right down to the end, but literally, guys, I just need that much. Just that much to cover up that star. So don't throw it away what? until you literally get every last drop. You never know when you're just going to want one drop of your yellow. Okay, I can peel that off. Ow. You guys, and this would be so fun to do with kids. My 10 year old can now talk all by himself. I don't have to watch over him. I trust him with my pace. He knows how to use them. He knows how to take care of the transfers and it's awesome. Oops, got a little bit of green smeared. Boopy! My four year old can do it to an extent of like spreading the paste around and picking his own color, but I have to help Boopy! peel it off. James Thor, knock it off. I, I got the wooden ornament, Sarah, from Amazon. But if you live next to Paula, just say, I'll come over and cut down one of your trees. James, if you're having struggles with your game, you're going to just need to turn it off because your screaming is really annoying to listen to. Okay? Say, okay, Mom. Yeah. Hey, James, do you want to come do some chocolate tour? No. I do not. Okay. Fine. Be that way. Okay, scraping that off, let those dry. Woo, these are so cute. Okay, so my last one is gonna have a red ribbon. What? So I'm gonna put away my silver ink and I'm gonna go back to my other chalkboard that I was working on earlier and finish that up as well because I got these icons out. Okay, let me show you what I was working on at the very beginning of this live. Don't mind this. This is also a transfer that's gotten over like a dozen uses and so it has some sticky issues. And I'm determined to keep using it until I'm done using it. So let me get all this stuff out of the way. Ta -da! It's our Subway Print October 31st transfer. It comes usually with, if you chalk the whole thing, it says October 31st in the middle. But I love it. I've created so many different designs not having used the October 31st. And I use a variety of colors. So this one I'm going for a candy cane look. Oh, I can see this. Don't do the bow at the top. Yeah, da -da -da -da. I'll read the rest of your comment, Kathy. It's kind of a little bit blocked. But yeah, I'll totally change... Um, oh, I see what you mean. Don't do the bow at the top. Just move it over. That's a good idea. Get the dots on it and then oh, I'm going to try it on the next one. I know exactly what you're talking about. So yes, I will do that. Smart. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to use the candy cane smack dab in the middle of this circle. And then this one had some air bubbles. So this subway print has a really wide screen. And so it had some air bubbles. That, like I said, it's just really well used. So I'm going to go back over it with the same screen and just touch up this spot and this spot with my white. Okay, we're going to start with white. Let's 
scrape off that excess. Ta-da! Good. Let that soak. And then after that little bit gets dried, then I will put the next layer on. So let me show you what I think Kathy was trying to say with an idea for getting my present lined up with the dot on the top. So anyone chiming in? That's how they look right now. <laughs> Sideways. Which I was okay with and I was going to do something. But I think what you're trying to tell me to do, which is a brilliant idea, okay, I'm just making sure it's dry because if it's wet, it might peel up, it might reconstitute the paste that's there, right? And we're not trying to go for that. So I'm only going to chalk the polka dot part. Let's see if this works. Grab a little bit of my red paste. Scrape off that extra. Oh my gosh, I just love that. And then I'm going to just lay down the bow. I should probably wait until that dries before I relay this down, but I'm just going to try to hold it up. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm going to hold it up so it's not ruining that freshly lined and dotted paste. And I'm just going to get that bow. Good enough. Look at that! Oh my gosh, Kathy! Amazing! I really didn't read your whole comment because I couldn't see the whole thing, but I'm assuming that's what you said and that was such a good good advice. All credit to Kathy. Hooray to Kathy. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you! Okay, wash that off, and then I'll do my other candy cane layer. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, drop that back on here and get some Lysol wipe. I literally use a Lysol wipe every single time I wash it. I don't know if you have to. You probably could just wait until you are ready to like definitely put it away and store it. Oh my gosh, but I love that. I love the contrast. Oh boy. Okay, if you're just chiming in, don't forget to comment shared when you share this giveaway. Because then, or share this giveaway. Well, it is giveaway, but share this live. Help spread my name, help spread my business, help spread the word around the Chalk Tour product. And I will get you into our drawing. Just be sure to comment shared. Okay, let's move those up here. Come back to my candy cane. Grab my wax and put a little bit of wax on it if it's dried up. And it has a little bit of silver. So the last time we used these, it's not dried yet. The last time we used these, I had um, glitter. And we've tried using glitter, which I'm gonna demonstrate on our next project here, how to do that. So this is our five by seven Chuck Couture board, board and base. This is what I have on one side, it's double sided. I'm not gonna erase that, but on this side, I'm gonna be doing another project. I'm gonna lay a paper towel down because I think there's a little bit of water under here and I just don't wanna get my cute design on the back wet. And I'm gonna show you bling in the new year. This is one of our new year designs, also available. I have one more bundle pack with this. It comes with a half squeegee, this transferred, this board and base, and a sample paste packet. And that is $20, $20 value. And I'm shipping those out. I'm shipping all of my shipments today. So if you want the last one of these, comment New Year. I don't know, just say you want the New Year bundle and I will get that under your name. Um, okay, so this says, Bling in the New Year has little stars and speckles. And I'm gonna line it up a little bit differently. I don't try to line up like the literal transfer with the board. I kind of try to eye the words because that's the part that's 
and I'm going to show up. So the transfer looks a little bit high, but I want it to be a little higher because the base is going to take up some of that section. Okay, so for Bling in the New Year, I've decided, oh my gosh, actually, I was going to do a wildberry color, but I kind of want to do that bright blue peacock color too. Oh well, I won't. I'll just do my original color. This is wildberry. I really like how wildberry um, shows up on black. So let me show you this color. And then of course, glitter, because it is bling. And when I think of bling, I think of glitter. But I gotta move these Christmas presents out of the way because I don't wanna see ornaments with glitter all over it. I got pretty color. So pretty. I've got this one in a paste packet sample as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, a little bit of marbling. So I want to have this wild berry here, but then I'm going to kind of scrape off the excess because I'm going to put some white as well. So now for the white, I'm literally going to dollop it on and then I'm going to start spreading it around and we're going to make it, it's called the hot mess method, the marbling method, whatever, you know, the point is that you're just blending the colors together in a way that no one else would be able to recreate exactly the same. It's going to be its own unique feature. Need a little bit more white and I want it to be not pink, I want it to really show up as white, so pop it on there, make sure there's no pink on my multi-tool. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go into all these little specks, confetti and stars, and make sure that they're covered up because if they're not covered up, they're not going to show up when I peel it off, right? And now I'm just going to scrape off the excess and put it in a paper towel to throw away. That just means less for me to have to wash off. Oh, I can already tell I'm going to like this. Usually whenever I do marbling, I like it. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, this is still a pretty brand new transfer. I think I've only used it once, so it's nice and sticky on my board. I go slowly, so if I see any spot that doesn't look pressed through, but that looks really good, so. Woohoo! Bling in the new year! That looks so great! Gonna drop that in my water bath, but now while the paste is wet, this is where I want to add in my glitter. So just um, sprinkle it on. I'm going to do it on the whole thing. I was going to just try bling, but I already know when I shake it off, it's going to go on everything anyway. Oh, so pretty. And this can be washed off, guys. Even if, after you get the glitter on it, you can just wash it off when you're done. And put a new design on. So this will be great for... Oh, don't dab it like I just did. Duh, because the paste is wet. What do you guys think? Do you love that? Oh my gosh, I think that's cute. My only preference would be that bling was like bigger. But I get the design and needing to be consistent in the size. Okay, so I'm using my Q-tip here just in the middle. Oh, that's not really. Just because where I spread it a little bit, I don't like how it looked. But another option is just to wait till it dries and then use a toothpick on this spot that spread and just kind of chip it back off because now I put q-tip and I have like q-tip feathers in there okay that looks good I'm really happy with that okay cool beans I'm gonna put this back onto its sheet so I'm putting the October 31st back onto its backer sheet for now and then I can wash off the bling in the new year 
transfer. And then I'm gonna show you the final touch on the candy cane layering for my large candy cane board. What? Does anyone have any questions? Make it a short question, maybe one word at a time, and then I can follow the comments <laughs> easier. No, I'm just kidding. That stupid phone holder. Oh no, I really am grateful I have it. I shouldn't say it's stupid. And just the way that I have it holding is not effective for reading all the long comments. Easy. Okay, where's my other candy cane? Here it is. So I'm just gonna pop this back into the board. That is so cute. The board and base that can hold the design vertically or horizontally. So that was perfect, the way that I made it up just a little bit. Cute, huh? Yeah, I really like that color. That was wild berry, wild berry. It's like a mix between pink and purple. Oh, I'm going to be wearing glitter for days again. Okay, let's come back to here. My candy cane is... Still seems a little bit wet. So I'm going to grab my wax here. That's weird because it's such a small opening. That it would be wet still is a little bit beyond me. I don't have my um, blow dryer out because it's in my bathroom and my daughter sleeps in the room that that bathroom's connected to, so I don't want to go in there and grab it. My favorite transfer, Amanda asks, what is my favorite transfer? Let me think about that for a second. It's like every time I get a new one, I'm like, oh, I love this one. Like for a while, I said this subway print one was my favorite, but that's because I was just using it over and over and over again. And I loved the versatility that I could like, it wasn't limited to just one season. I could create something new each season with it. So it's easy to change up. And I like having that option because that's my reason for starting with Chalk Couture products in the first place is because I don't like to have a lot of storage um, for, I just don't like to have a lot of storage for my supplies. So like for Christmas, we literally have three boxes of Christmas supplies. And then like all of our Halloween, Easter, and Thanksgiving stuff, that's all in two boxes. And so I like that I can use the same two chalkboards basically for part of my display and I just change them out now. And so that's one transfer I can use for every single, um, every single one of them. So I guess that is still my favorite design. Maybe it's just because I'm looking at it. Um, what's another one? She believed she could, so she did. I do like that phrase. I like how it looks. I think it's really cute. Um, okay, so this candy cane just layers on top of there. I put wax on it, you guys, just to help protect the layering aspect. Layering always scares me with white. I don't know what it is about that formula, but when I layer with it, a lot of times the white peels back up. So I probably should have started with red and then done the white. Because every other color, it just stays down fine. I don't have to wax. With white, I just started doing it because I just do. So let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, another favorite transfer of mine is the Halloween one that we, it says, um, I'm only here for the candy and it had a bunch of candy corn on it. And I love that because that speaks to me. I'm such a chocoholic, candyholic. If something says refreshment served, I'll be like, oh, I don't know that I want to go. But then if, like if I'm on the fence about going to something, but if they're like, oh, there'll be refreshments, I'll be like, I'm there. <laughs> so that was a really fun transfer to, to play with. But it's not, you know, really versatile. It's very targeted just to Halloween. Oh. So I guess subway print wins. That looks good. So now I'm going to go back over just this three white lines where the air bubbles really popped up and then just give it another layer. 
I might, because my OCD might kick in, what? erase this candy cane and do it again, scooting it over just slightly to the right because I do think it's slightly off and it's gonna bug me. But overall, I think it's great. That's gonna be cute. I'll show you guys my finished area. I literally have just a small space in my um, place where I decorate for the season. And um, so I'll show you how that looks. I am not a decorator. I'm not very good at decorating at all, but I try. It is fun, it makes me happy to try, so. This is awesome, look at this marbling. Okay, so this is a combination of our snowflakes transfer, which is a size B, $14.99. You get like eight different snowflake sizes and designs. And then the Santa Claus comes on Christmas cheer, which I I have to go check. I think it might have come back in stock today. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting for it to come back in stock. Um, if you want the Christmas cheer transfer, um, be in my VIP group and you'll see that there's a discounted price in there as well. But I can't tell you what that is right here. Um, but yeah, as soon as it comes back in stock, I'll be ordering it for those who have gotten it. And then it's also a mixture of, did I say Christmas cheer? No, Santa Claus is not from Christmas cheer. This is from the Santa Claus is coming to town. Christmas cheer says Merry Christmas and joy to the world. Never mind. Ignore me. Okay, so this one I was kind of playing around with. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to do it, but I I really like that marbling. And so I kind of think I'm gonna try doing the Santa in red again. And then my reindeer I want to try in fawn. Fawn is like a lighter brown. Okay, just from looking at it, I think I want it to skid over to the right slightly. Here's a tip when you're using the transfers, peel side to side or up and down. Avoid pulling the transfer from a diagonal angle just to give it um, less chance of stretching. You don't want to stretch that screen. Oh, this is such a widescreen opening too, but like, it's still so fresh and new. It just laid down really nicely. Okay, here is my fawn. Nice. Don't even have to add any water to that. Looks good. Can you do the sleigh legs in? Okay, let's not ask a question. And I can't see it all, but I want to see what she said. Whoa, I'm going to break my phone at the same time. Can you do the sleigh legs in silver? That's not a bad idea, except I don't want to put ink on my chalkboard here. I didn't mind on the wood chips, but I don't really know how ink would react on the chalkboard or if I'd be able to erase it off. Um, but I probably could. Sleigh legs in silver. I can do like silver bells, fawn reindeer. I was kind of wondering if I should individually color each portion of it or not, but um, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is the red sleigh and then I'm gonna do fawn all the way down here and not do this in silver, but I'll do silver all the way through or not silver, but I'll do like the fawn color through the reindeer and the rope. I was also kind of thinking originally that I was gonna try to do a ombre effect just like I did with the Santa Claus words, but I'm not really good at having a vision of what to do. I just do it. I just pull it out and I go, okay, how am I going to do this? Like basically the process I just did. I just start doing it and then I rethink it as I go. And then if I really absolutely hate it, I just erase it and do it again. But because I am going to try the sleigh legs in a different color, I'm going to be careful as I approach that section. And then just use the tip of my squeegee to get his glove. I 
And then working quickly, I'm not gonna scrape off too much excess because I want it to have some moisture there as I am going into um, the other parts of this design. This is fawn. Oh, I already said that, but I'll tell you that again. This is fawn. I like it on black because when I use brown, I feel like it's too dark and it doesn't stand out against the black if I'm using a chalkboard as my surface. So fawn is a nice um, replacement when I'm going for the brown coloring. And like I'm going really thin on my paste so it's harder to spread it so I don't need to do that like you can be really generous with the amount of paste you put on initially because you can always just scrape it right back off okay now what I'm trying to be careful here is not getting the red into it because I don't want it to be ah right there I had red on the corner I didn't even know I want to try to keep it as defined as possible. Now, if I was trying to be really careful about it, I would peel it up. See, like it's already going in and I don't even care. Um, I would peel it up after I did the red, let it dry, and then lay it back down and then do all of the, the um, fawn because I wouldn't risk anything blending together like it just did. But it's really not that big of a deal. What's really neat about these is you can get the exact same design as your friend. Or you can buy one transfer together and do it and you can create it in your own way and you're gonna end up with something completely different and it's so neat it's so fun for me to witness the different ways that people use the same design because everyone has different tastes okay I laid it back down because when I peel it up I could see that there was a bit of an air bubble I don't know what it's called but like I just didn't like the way that it ended up looking so I'm gonna re scrape it like this to try to make it um, have a really defined um, I don't know. I just wanted it to be more crisp against the board. So laid it back down. Yeah, much better. <laughs> okay, I'm going to redo that sled part too because I didn't scrape up a lot of the excess because I was trying really hard not to let it blend in, but you can like see where the glob is. There we go. Now I'll get all that excess off and it will give it a really clean look. She says, well, let's test that out. This is something you kind of just learn by doing, guys. When you do it, you get a feel for it. You get a feel for how much you need, how much you don't need. Um, it's nothing to be intimidated by. Just grab a transfer. Oh, no. <sighs> I'm going to have to redo that reindeer anyway because when I laid it back down, it wasn't completely on, so I like added a shadow. I like that. Ah, don't like that. No likey. That was because I had a little bit of a dry paste glob. Like I hadn't reconstituted it. So it didn't really spread into the screen. So let me just scrape that out and add a fresh coat right there. Oh, I didn't notice the bottom of there. All right, so I can already tell I'm going to go back over. I'm going to wash this off and then relay the sled line on. And I'm going to use a Q-tip just to take off some of that shadowing. I wasn't even paying attention to the sled line. I was just looking at the Santa Claus. But I didn't want to risk laying it back down again. So I'm good with red. And I'm good with white. So I'm just going to reuse the fawn. And then I think I'm going to try another snowflake down here to make it consistent from top to bottom. See? Snowflake. Woo! Okay. Let's see. And then this one also says Santa Claus is coming to town. I don't know. Now that I did it, I don't know that I really like that I used the fawn color because all of my snowflakes are like this stark white and the frame is this stark white and then I have like this... I don't know, I just don't feel like the colors are that consistent. I don't know, give me a thumbs up. Like, not on these little mo buttons on the bottom, but like, just tell me, do you like the fawn? Should I do yes fawn, leave it fawn? Or should I erase it? 
Yes Vaughn or just erase it. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to wash off this transfer. I'll show you how to do that when it's a bigger screen. You just put this bling in the new year back. Just put it right back on. I always label the back of my transfers because one side is glossy and the glossy side is what you want to put your transfer back onto. And so sometimes it's hard to tell. So if I just label the back of it, then I don't have to figure it out. And then, ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, Rose is like, everyone's like, erase it. Erase it. You're right. I'm glad I asked. Yep. I think it'd be different if I didn't have stark white, if I was doing it on like a wooden background already. Who wants to see how to erase? I will show you. And then just put these back on. You guys even see this? So this, this is a transfer sheet. So when you cut these little icons up originally, they just are gonna be on their little square backer sheets that you cut also. But you can also buy just eight and a half by 11 sheets that have a glossy side and you, instead of saving all the individual squares, you can literally just put them right back onto the page like so, and I just store them in a binder. I don't make it look anything too pretty because especially these ones, they're so just dead, done, defeated, been used. I just need to get them on here, get them on here so I can have some space to dry my Santa Claus. Oh, oh, oh. and dove. Okay. So that's done. All right, goodbye, Santa. Goodbye, you are going away. But first, let me wash this guy off so then he can start to dry before we get to use him. Okay. Done. Goodbye, fawn paste. We don't need you anymore. All right, so where's my board eraser? Our board erasers are like this. Um, you can also use board erasers to wash off your transfers as well, but I like to save them just for the boards. Ooh. So massage off any of the extra paste. Usually for me, when I soak it in here, just like you're seeing, um, once it's soaked for a minute, the paste is pretty much off. It's just good to go. water looks like, I don't know, it just looks funny to me. Super thick chalky water. Okay, so I'll show you another way to quick dry transfers as well. So I'm just over here to the side wash, wiping off the excess um, chalk with a Lysol wipe and then flipping it around so it's sticky side up so it can dry, air dry and not be stuck against the little mat after it's dry. I always get red paste on me. My hands are like permanently red ever since I started doing chocolate tour because I do lives like every day, right? Let's see what else is in here. Oh, just some squeegees. I'll use these again. Amanda's like white. Everyone's like, don't do it. Okay, yes, you guys, I get the point. I won't leave it Flick that tooth brush water everywhere. Okay, so I usually do this off to the side because I don't like the water to be around my space that I'm working on where my finished projects are. And this is why, because I just flicked water at my bling in the new year, but it looks like everything was safe. It just got on the side. But yeah, I usually just take my piece or my used transfers over to the sink. And leave my finished product on the table. You guys, my table is not big. It is a small, less than six foot long table and I do all of my projects on here. You don't need a lot of space to do this. And then after that, I have a small um, tote that I put in my paste colors. 
and then a portfolio binder that all of my transfers are stored in. All right, back to this. Where's my board eraser? Here it is. Okay, so I'm wanting to leave Santa Claus. I really like how that looks. I probably will never erase it because I just like it too much. You can wait till the paste is completely dry. You can do it while it's wet, it doesn't matter. I have, um, like with the chalk tour board I did the subway print on just now, I had another design on there that's been there for like four months. And I'm sad to see it go actually, but I just didn't have another board readily available at the moment, so I just erased it and put that new design on and it erases just well enough. It just is not hard at all whether it's been on for six months or six minutes. I'm just being careful not to hit that snowflake. My other board that's like the 9x12 board that I was erasing the whole thing, I literally just ran it under the sink. And then I took the board eraser and wiped it down. So instead of dipping my board eraser back in the, um, oh no, into the water where it's already red and chalky water, I'm gonna go rinse it off in the sink to get that extra stuff off because otherwise it's just recollecting the chalk paste from the water. But that's it. And then I am good to go. When that dries and when my Santa Claus dries, I don't want the silk screen to be wet. I'll put it back on and try it again, and I'm just gonna do a white Santa Claus. There, was that helpful, Amanda? And everyone else, but Amanda specifically, because she just mentioned it. Did you like to see how that worked? I hope that was helpful. I'm going to move to showing you a quick dry. So now I'm ready to go, right? I've got my board washed off and I'm just waiting for this. So some people will blow dry their, their um, silk screen, which is fine. You can do that if that's what you have around. But another option is just, you don't want it to like press hard because the paper can come off really easily because it's sticky, right? You can just do like a brisk Oh, there's still some red there. I'm gonna wash that with my wet rag here. Because if there's red on this, the transfer, then it will turn red when I lay it down. But you literally can just go brisk, 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 and it will make it, oh, very sticky. See, very sticky. Hey, Pam! Okay, so now my board, my table's wet underneath here. But I can see that my silk screen is still wet. So I don't want to lay it down yet. What's going to happen when it's wet is sometimes when the paste is wet and you're like, if your paste is too wet and watery, or if your screen has a watery mark on it, then when you peel it up, you'll see um, that section looks a little bit affected. So that looks good. Let's pull my board back up. And I guess we'll just stick with the consistency of white. I kind of want to do an ombre effect with this too. Maybe I just will, because I think I'll just regret it if I just do white, because I'm like, meh, that's boring. That's the way that everyone everyone does it. So I'll just do it again. I'll do it a different way, and if I don't like it, I'll erase it again. Okay. What I'm going to do... What am I going to do? So this one also has... By the way, this one also has another reindeer. So if you have like a longer board, there's another reindeer that, that can attach to the front. It has a little Rudolph nose. It says believe. And then there's also is coming to town. So Santa Claus is coming to town. I could do it right there. Above his head. I don't like it. It's crashing into the thing. So I might just do it down here. Maybe I'll just let myself do that in ombre. 
Okay, white. So we decided white. White was an ombre look. You guys, I just can't. I just can't. I don't want to do just white. So I'm going to try an ombre going down the other way. I want to have red. I'm not a designer. I don't have an eye for color, right? I mean, I'm a designer in that I'm designing this board, but it doesn't mean that I have a good vision. I'm really bad at visualizing things before I just do it. So I'm just going to do it, and I'll show you how I do the ombre look. So now I'm going to scrape off the excess. I have another board that I recently did, guys, that was um, with this same Santa Claus is coming to town, so that's why I don't want to make it look the exact same. I should probably stop using this because I can get several uses out of it, but I have a holiday class coming up and I want I don't want to like use the transfer so many times that other people can't get uses out of it. I want them to be able to play with it too. Okay, so I'm doing a really solid red down here. And then this is where I'm gonna come in to where it blends. And just let it blend in using the squeegee to blend it. You could also use your finger, but I don't really want to right now. It doesn't really have any white on it. All right, just one more time. Okay, let's see how this looks. Yeah, kind of silly, but good enough. Oh my gosh. I don't know that I really like that either, but like I said, I was going to regret it if I didn't try. But, I don't know, actually kind of would have looked cool if I made that whole sled kind of ombre in like that. Whatever. We're just going to let it be for that. Let it be. And then once again, if I look at it for a day and I decide I don't like it, I will erase it. And I'm going to figure out what I want to do with this. I'll probably just add a small snowflake here and say Santa Claus is coming to town. But yeah, I think that's it for all, guys. Thanks for watching. For all. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. You have 24 hours to share this live onto your personal page or any group page that you can. And comment shared and you're entered into our share giveaway. That's it. I'm going to clean this up before my daughter wakes up so I can... Get these packages ready to mail out. Oh, okay, and I'll read back through the comments. Those of you who are in my VIP group or want to be in my VIP group, comment VIP, and I'll get the ornament information out to you guys, too, of how to get those ordered. Adios, my friends. Thanks for watching.